Hey viewers, let's go Joe Hutton here, all about Greek, uh, bringing you a new episode of uh, Live Live Live, uh, live streaming of uh, Comet Mission Black Sea, and uh, if you've seen the other live streams, which I think you'll find in the playlist or in the, um, in the video streams, um, you'll see we've been experimenting with uh, all kinds of UAVs, uh, US UAVs, the US uh, Grey Eagle and uh, this time we'll be experimenting with uh, Russian uh, UAVs hopefully these vehicles aren't uh, bloody loud I'll turn that volume down for myself so I can hear myself speak and uh, we've got a uh, assault force here nowhere near the um, uh, points cap for a uh, assault scenario and we've got some Americans um, Bradleys and uh, Abrams um, set up by the AI uh, scattered throughout the um, uh, woods and forests here our job is to um, find those fellows and uh, get uh, artillery, artil artillery on them as um, soon as possible the uh, situation here is we've got a uh, battalion uh, tactical group, uh, tank led. We've got um, company HQ, we've got a platoon HQ, and we've got a um, main barrel tank. And Guska, we've got some uh, multi purpose vehicles. We've actually got three artillery observation vehicles, each with various combinations of observers. We've got a uh, command squad for the uh, battalion and uh, what's this fellow we've got here an air defense uh, platoon we've got this fellow here which is a platoon HQ for the company and uh, we've got some observers um, air controllers in the um, uh, BMP3s so let's um, get turned now to uh, what UAVs we've got we've got a um, Coachella unmanned drone, two of those, two Orlands and uh, two Zola uh, unmanned drones. Uh, so we'll be able to put uh, these fellows up and um, see how long they survive and see how well they coordinate with the, um, with the artillery. And we've got uh, an air controller, another air controller, two air controllers, three air controllers. Uh, and we'll experiment with um, whether other uh, um, assets can access the, uh, the drones themselves. And for the artillery, we've got uh, 152 millimeter howitzers, uh, two S3 M2s. We've got some off board um, mortars, got some trusters. We've got two S19s. Got uh, the uh, Mialka 203 and we've got the uh, 2S1. And you can see on the um, access uh, matchup uh, code on the top right corner of each of the artillery assets. Only the uh, um, 152mm houses um, that are part of the BDG uh, have got a green circle, which means very fast matchup um, delivery times five minutes for the houses. The uh, artillery mortar, when we're observing from the um, uh, forward observer, green uh, triangle means it's got a seven minute time, seven minutes for the trosters, seven minutes for the um, two S 19s, nine minutes for the Mialkas, and uh, seven minutes for the uh, two S 1s. What we'll do is we'll just do a bit of a survey of. Um, which uh, assets that the uh, Russians have um, have got the fastest uh, calling times. Kind of expecting the observer here is to be the fastest, but um, let's kind of start at the top and just have a bit of a summary. So five minutes for the Pachellas, five for the drones, for the Orlands, five for the uh, for the uh, Zala from the uh, battalion HQ. Command squad denied. That's interesting. Ordinary vehicle denied. New artillery observation vehicle 
um, access and five minutes for each of them. Air controller, does he get them up any faster? Four minutes. Four minutes up from the air controller and the observer. Five minutes. So not everyone gets access, but they do uh, come up within four or five minutes, six minutes for the um, forward observer. <coughs> this artillery observation vehicle, five minutes. The vehicles get one minute faster, the controllers, air controllers are four minutes. And uh, battalion leader, five minutes, so he's uh, one of the middle, uh, middle uh, response times. Let's see if the uh, air defense platoon can get access. Yes, they can. Six minutes. Can the actual uh, teams get access? No. Let's move across the uh, platoon HQ. They get access, six minutes. That's the lowest. They're all the same. And do the uh, squad themselves get access? Denied. The vehicle. Also denied. I'm expecting these guys to be uh, denied. Kind of across the patch. Air controller. Expecting four minutes. Yep, four minutes. Forward observer. I'm expecting five minutes. And then six minutes. That's interesting. <coughs> They're all green circle. We'll get a fast access. The uh, self propelled uh, anti aircraft denied. The tank company HQ. He's got access six minutes. Platoon HQ. Six minutes. In this vehicle, I'm expecting um, the two member, I'm expecting no access denied. Yep. Air controller on the ground just with the uh, PDA, four minutes. Forward observer, I'm expecting five, no, six minutes. Air controller, four. Okay. We check the uh, artillery observation vehicles themselves. Five minutes. Some of them are six minutes. This BMP two. Six minutes. This BTR. Five minutes. Can I read that right. Well, let's. Uh, we won't, we're in the setup phase right now, so rather than um, send the uh, drones up right now because they'll appear automatically. Let's. Uh, Put the, get the drones up. Put one drone from uh, here. Send up the Pachoa. We'll do an area target over here. Observe four minutes. Just to um, Pretty noisy. Americans are uh, defending this um, this area. We can turn the uh, objectives off. Text getting away. We can go through uh, the artillery. We had the uh, knew what the artillery was. Seven minutes, ten minutes, twelve minutes, fourteen minutes. Okay. Air controller. What access does he have? Seven, seven, eleven, 
13. That's a long call in. What about the uh, board observers and tools? Five. Seven. Seven, seven. Nine. That's board observers. Very fast. Very, very fast. That's a, that's an air control. Let's choose a board observer. Six, 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 five. Seven, eight, so he reports strictly to the uh, company HQ. Company HQ is uh, longer. So already I think uh, we can see the uh, time it takes for the um, Time it takes for the artillery to uh, arrive is um, very dependent on whether you're using the forward, Russian forward observers and uh, so on. 7, 7, 12. 4 observer. 7, 6, 5, 7. Getting enough forward observers for the Russian order battle is uh, really important. Got the uh, drones up yet? Another minute for that to arrive. Obviously, we're not going to um, move up to the ridge. This is not an assault scenario per se. We're just talking about um, experimenting with the the UAVs. We might be able to get a. Uh, Few more going. And uh, we've got one going over there. Draw over here. Get one of these um, two wheel observation vehicles. To start as well. Anguska's going to shoot something down if they get a chance. Got one going. Let's get a uh, forward observer to um, hold us busy. Get this guy up. Area target. I haven't set up uh, any of the um, any of the American forces, so it's um, not clear to me at all where any of where the forces might set up. Although I made sure I, Abrams and uh, Bradleys were selected in the um, order battle for the uh, for the Americans. He's got a bit of a Waiting time now to get um, get uh, some uh, reads on where the uh, where the Americans are. We'll you know, try and coordinate some artillery. Okay, we got a Bradley picked up by this guy by the air controller. Can he put down? Uh, Seven minutes. Okay, is he sharing his information with the guy in the same vehicle? No, he's not. Is he sharing his information with the guy with the vehicle that the air control is in? No, he's not. What we can do though, seven minutes, point target. We'll do three guns. Or we can do precision. Let's try the precision, three guns, general, immediate, confirm. Seven minutes. So here the air controller is um, actually uh, coordinating the artillery itself. And the Krasnopol um, is the uh, precision uh, rounds.
see what else um, we're watching Shouldn't have done that. So they picked up the one uh, Bradley. I'm expecting a vehicle here and a vehicle here. Let's have a closer look at the uh, the Bradley. Where where is it exactly? It's in the woods. That's pretty good. The American uh, UAVs weren't um, identifying vehicles easily in deep inside the woods. So maybe picking them up on the outskirts. This guy's not getting anything from that, that forest. This guy, Gary, we'll do a linear target and we'll kind of uh, sweep. Four hundred meters I've found is the maximum that they'll do in terms of length, linear length of a uh, UAV um, spotting uh, cycle. Two vehicles there now, okay. Oh, one vehicle here. Oh, excellent, we're getting uh, some uh, action. Let's see if we can uh, kind of target the air controller in the same vehicle as the observer who's not sharing information. Air controller. Two vehicles here. Two Bradleys. Abrams, I should say. Three vehicles to the left. Starting to pick them up now. It's after uh, 10 minutes of play. Okay, so this guy is to a point target. Three guns, precision. Nine minutes. Don't like that. The only ones you can see him is that one. Take the trees away and we'll get the vehicle. Five minutes, point target. And this mysterious icon will do heavy, short, general, immediate, confirm. Oh, did you see that? destroyed badly what's this fella down with night this fella well this guy can have another go one target four minutes we get precision again because we can see him general immediate confirm <laughs> This guy call in artillery. Thirteen minutes, no way. Let's um You will not be able to do that. Let's get this guy to call in some uh fourteen minutes. Again, that's just way too long. Fourteen minutes the game will be over by then. 
if you're the Russian, you need a long, uh, lots of time, lots of time. Oh, I mean, that's, he's got some uh, Kitalov precision rounds. Three, precision, general, immediate, confirmed. And the question we should be asking is um, if uh, the forward observer has got a uh, suspected target, unconfirmed target, if they use precision rounds, will they, um, how precise will they be? Against uh, that icon, against that target. And they're reading them deep into the woods too, which is pretty interesting. 14 minutes, I want to really want to use the, uh, the milkers. How about we use a uh, linear target? Yeah, two guns, heavy, medium, general. So, so those guys will come through. Um, oh, look at all the vehicles now we've spotted. Come through right before the end of the scenario, probably. Get these guys up as well. Three guns, heavy, medium, general, me, confirmed. Look at armored knight. We can get the uh, where's the um, water battery? I think it's off board. over here as well. Excellent. Twelve minutes, I think so. Twelve minutes. Strug really struggling uh, my friends to um, work out which is the best oh, option here. Right. Quick. No um, precision rounds available. Um, short because it's uh, seven minutes. They're sharing their information. And a uh, 120 millimeter water. Do precision. Three rounds, precision, general, immediate, confirm. Forward observer, can access here. It's a linear target. Three, heavy. Medium. The UAV can't uh, cause smoke rising. You can see the smoke, don't need the UAV for that. Look at these guys. They're in trouble. Forces there. Five minutes. Do a point target and there are three with precision, general, five minutes, immediate. Okay. It's 
So quirky, I think, is the rule of thumb for the uh, Soviets. Looks like everyone with a HQ or observer can access the uh, drones and uh, uh, the uh, upward artillery. But the time uh, needed to um, have the rounds land is um, very, very different. Fastest is... Uh, Oh, so is the artillery observation vehicles and the observers, um, dedicated uh, observers. The rule of thumb. Surprised I haven't uh, lost any um, uh, drones to uh, anti aircraft fire. He also access no he can't access the uh, batteries they're all busy that's smoke rising Very inaccurate fire from the Russians. When you want to dis destroy vehicles, that is. Uh, point target. Let's go point target here. Three. Precision. General. Immediate. Confirm. Guns available. Yeah. Top target hit. It's a big difference to uh, the accuracy if you're just shooting at um, uh, solid icons as opposed to uh, suspects. I think that's where uh, the air controller team has to access both the um, has to access both the uh, drone and the uh, uh, upward artillery is really important. So having an air controller um, will help enormously. Smoke on the left. Looks like our response to um, to an air to being raised to put out some uh, smoke. These guys aren't moving. It's a new uh, contact. Didn't get any contacts here, which I thought the game set up. There was a vague um, suspicion of that. That smoke has got to identify a vehicle, just we can't see it. Top attack. Hit the top turret, it might not uh, do that much. We'll be doing a bit of a uh, round up at the end of the uh, 30 minutes to, uh, help to check um, where the uh, damage has been done. This guy transfers contacts. No, the only the only units with uh, solid contacts are the ones that have eyes on. The rest uh, don't really transmit the uh, contacts. Even 
Kira HQ. The observers don't even share their contacts with the vehicle they're in. Vaguely. That, that's off, it's going around, hopefully. Those guys can see the target with the drone and correct the artillery fire. That's what the difference. Sometimes the uh, artillery is uh, very uh, ineffectual. Well, four minutes going time for these guys. Point target, let's take out the armored knights. All strike time, precision, general, immediate, confirm. Six and a half minutes left, so uh, 30 minutes to get the drones up and start the artillery, pick apart the uh, American uh, defenses. So interesting to compare this to the real world uh, Ukraine war and um, understand what the Russians might be doing. And they'll be doing this artillery um, uh, targeting for days. They're short of uh, troops, they just want to walk in into a destroyed town or village with uh, no uh, meaningful um, resistance. Trying to save their infantry um, as much as I can. Top attack. Forward top arm. And how much damage he's suffered. Inaccurate. Hit the trees. The infantry, though, in this um, corner of the wall would be um, pretty badly knocked. Shockwaves for inside the vehicle must still be um, difficult for the crew to deal with. Okay, the hit reactive armor, but that is the purpose of uh, armor, is to take the knock rather than the infantry itself. The American Abrams are uh, solid uh, units themselves. Could have been a demobilization there. This one could have been immobilized. This one as well. We've seen from other uh, attempts it's not easy to uh, strike vehicles in. Um, Frost the woods. So both these guys can see those uh, units. Two drones up. Overlapping drones is a good idea. Both um, uh, units can. Uh, try to take out. Uh, the vehicles in the, in the woods. More eyes up, the better. We want to make sure. 
sure everyone's firing. Control approach target. Gee, can we get him? But at all, precision, general, immediate control. So the men are saying we won't have time for him to land. Let's see if we uh, can push these uh, tanks forward. This is a bit of last minute uh, good times. guys because I don't want them to get killed frankly Bradley's still alive Big targets here, yeah. flying from the uh, woods. Wow. You can see even after a bit of pulverizing, the uh, Russian vehicles just uh, don't like it. down. I think it was these Abrams in the woods. And uh, infantry um, uh, artillery is very fast. It's not an exercise in uh, seeing how many we can kill or anything like that. It's just now it's um, past the 30 minute time, so let's have a, just have a bit of fun. Let's see how fast the uh, Americans are. I suspect they didn't have drones because they would have been droning uh, the setup area. More guns going up, lands, lands rounds landing on the right. You can see these guys. We got rounds coming. Preparing. Two minutes. Spotting. We can set this guy to. Um, a bit of advancing. These guys in cover. It's good to um, shoot missiles from the trees. And the trees uh, perform a defensive uh, barrier. Clear the target. Uh, 
Queen P3 got laced from, from behind the trees. Sights. Shoot something through just to punish them a little bit. I lost one, two, three. Easily, easily lose a lot of vehicles. I think if you're doing this uh, as a real scenario, you'd be um, much more circumspect in this situation. The Americans have got a lot. A lot of uh, stuff plus uh, infantry with um, javelins. So the Americans um, 12 men killed, 5 armoured vehicles, lost no tanks. We really tried for the tanks. And we lost uh, 2 tanks and a BMP3, of course. Um, well, the infantry, um, just having a drone and artillery strike can give you um, some pretty good points. Still a tactical defeat for this kind of setup. So let's just run through one casualty, no casualties, one Bradley. So he was the platoon HQ. Destroyed one of the Bradleys, this guy. Oh, he's a little guy, I got none. What about the uh, artillery? Two Bradleys and Armoured Knight. Hmm. He was the air controller. Didn't use these fellas. This guy, none, none. Very observer vehicle, none, none. This guy tried to do some work, I think. None. He's got one armored knight. I think he might have targeted this fellow. Uh, air controller, no. Board observer, no. Board observer, no. No, none, none. So really this um, air controller here Two Bradleys and the Armored um, Knight. The three vehicles, three of the five vehicles. And uh, this fellow got uh, one Bradley, so that's four out of the five vehicles. Where did the other one come from? None. And that was the other Bradley. So, not clear where the other fifth vehicle came from. Let's see what um, the damage was. Okay, yep. Armored Knight hit by artillery. Armored Knight hit by artillery. Undamaged, undamaged. You'll have a javelin, of course. Have your own artillery. Oh, nicely uh, wounded everybody. That's probably from this vehicle. Artillery observer. Do they have their own? Can't tell if they have their own uh, drones up. Over here. Okay, all immobilized. That's what we thought. Two immobilized, three immobilized. Oh, he got the main battle tank. So shooting through the trees, he destroyed the main battle tank. The T90. Artillery did uh, mobilize them, but the tree is there. Put the trees back. You yeah, have no undergrowth, so got a chance. And a bit of a uh, reverse load position too. Okay. Run it over here. Artillery reference point, target reference point. We didn't have any of those. Where's this guy? Fine. It's fine. 
destroyed or he had the he was a late destruction so he took out a T-90 and a BMP-3 and but the artillery didn't get him the, um, one of our tanks did think this guy yep very interesting well the underwhelming artillery from the uh, Russians uh, sure we took out a few vehicles and uh, but we targeted quite a few obviously we're targeting uh, Abrams which are pretty tough against all kinds of firepower get them immobilized um, probably step one step two is uh, uh, keep hitting them unlike the Americans where they were a uh, short quick a short um, or heavy short uh, uh, artillery mission might be uh, would be worth it um, even uh, heavy uh, missions are difficult to uh, find it difficult to um, completely knock out um, tanks and Abrams only about a 50 50% success rate looks like less than that one vehicle here there's another vehicle there out of the apron out of the Bradleys that have been uh, targeted that was a nice kill though on the one at the back a bit more patience and a bit more care get a better result obviously times against the Russians Russians need lots of time and lots of patience and lots of artillery ammunition which I think is what they're finding on the real battlefield and of course uh, don't run your tanks up to a ridge line even if the um, Abrams are in the woods without um, undergrowth they'll just get knocked out and you can see them through the undergrowth there incredible very interesting all right ladies and gentlemen that's the end of this uh, live stream and uh, Hopefully we'll see you again in the live, live, live. Uh, Lance Corbett, Joe Harvey here, signing off for uh, Wombat Thunder. Hope that was interesting, useful. You can set up your own uh, experiments to work out um, how the drones and artillery work together and what the best combo and combination is and just how many points you should allocate in a uh, quick battle against a player versus player uh, to drones. You get the optimum... Uh, drone artillery spotter observer controller combination and i'm sure you'll uh, do much better than what we did today and uh, with a fully fleshed out uh, russian force you'll be able to claim victory so we'll see you in the next one give us a like that's really important so other people can see this video as well and uh, we'll see you in the next one